Hi, right, good afternoon everyone. Welcome back. I am Lucha Reco. Um, and this is my Rec Rovers save, as always. So where you left us off last, um we just go back here. Uh where you left us off last, we drew 1-1 one, one with Dundee, we beat Hearts 4-1, and then we beat Motherwell 7-1 in the League Cup final. So the next three games we've got in this episode, we've got Kilmarnock away just now coming up, and then we've got Ross County and Motherwell in two weeks' time after that. So what I'll do is I'll play the Kilmarnock game and the Ross, Ross County game, and then I will... Um, basically go on holiday and then I will come back after I've holidayed for the second part of this video. So yeah, so that's what we'll do. Anyway, we have got the mic now. So the lineup is Ruse is always in goal, Dabo is right back, Welsh and Warner in centre defence with Diarte is left back, all in midfield with Pablo Henrique today, Ince on the right, Dander in middle uh, just behind Hoyland, Muskwe on the left. So there we go. Right, let's see how we get on. Rangers are caught up with us now they're on top of the Scottish Premiership. Oh. Alfredo Morales. Is that is that is that former Rangers striker? No, I'm thinking of somebody else, anyway. Sorry, I was thinking of, um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, all right, come on, I'm winning 1 0. Come on, I need to win that game, basically, because I think if they lose it in the relegation battle, then uh, they are probably more up for this game than we are. Cause we're probably slacking a bit because we're doing well, so we're resting on our laurels, as they say. Hopefully, I'll give them um, a pick up the bump, so I hope that'll help. Got a few tired players. Uh, let's try firing up the players to see if that'll do anything. Right, Diante's knackered, we'll put on Swanson, he's got no choice. Ball, he can come off and we'll put on Connolly. Ince can come off and we'll put on Lawrence. Muscle can come off and we'll put on Ball. There you go, quadruple substitution with 30 minutes to go. What could possibly go wrong? You never know, it might work out in our favour. Oh, we've made all of our substitutions now. Come on, it's been the better team. It doesn't matter what we're doing. We just can't seem to get go with. Their XG's been way better than ours. Boylan's a bit out of form now. He hasn't scored in the last two games, I think. The tackle is wrong considering the fact that you're knackered. Oh, poor oh, Lawrence. Why didn't you try and lob him? Come on, Ball. Mr. Rafe Rovers. Oh. Despite the fact that he was literally going to be taken off, but it didn't, I didn't do it quickly enough. Um, we nearly scored. It was a Lewis Vaughan's beautiful pass. Oh, well. All right, we'll take you off now, mate. You've done what you need to do. You can't do no more. I don't want to permanently injure you. We lose this game. We lose this game. It is what it is. I think, yeah, I think Kilmar's going to get another one in a second. Yep. Just knew as soon as that. Savory. What a name. Grant Savory. 
what they need to do is uh, assign key sweet and they can have savory and sweet and savory up front. There you go. Bit of bunch. I'm here all week, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Tom Lawrence has had to take him off as well. Oh, well, we can't win them all, everybody. I'm still very happy. It's, we're still doing really well this season. Hopefully we can bounce back in the next game, though. Keep up with the rest of them, because Celtic still got a game ahead of us. So, uh, yeah, but we'll see. Yeah, Lewis Vaughan's out for three weeks. Tom Lawrence out for a couple of days. See if uh, we can sign him. Yeah, it wouldn't be interested anyway. Okay. Right, let's try and skim through these days as quick as possible. Get to the next game. Most of the inbox items are scout reports, which is annoying because I haven't got the money. Ah, that's a thought. Scouting budget. I know we haven't got much of a scouting budget. I was going to try and put that into the transfer budget and then turn it into the wage budget, but I didn't do it. Let's see if the board will let us increase the transfer and wage budget. It should do really. There's 66 million in the bank. What more do they want? And we get, oh, there you go. Let us have another affiliate. Uh, scouts, let's see if we get more scouts. There we go, we can choose it. Right, who do we pick? Who are these uh, familiar? Okay. Banks, D, Banks of D. Some weird and wonderful names here, isn't there? I'm with. Uh, Peebles is here. Peebles, Peebles is uh, the Scottish town my dad was born in. Even though he probably he's more English than Scottish because he, he he only lived in Scotland for about uh, a couple of years of his life before my nan and granddad moved. Yeah, no. Nah. Orkney might be a bit of Orkney. At least I've heard of them. True, true. No, true. My nan was born in true. Oh well. I guess I'll just do that one then. We'll just go with Bookie. All right, we've got Ross County next. They are currently bottom, I think. So oh, we can get more scouts. That'll help us. Hopefully we get some decent scouts who can some weird and wonderful players from abroad. Uh, Musgree is currently seen as an important player. I'm not changing him, I'm not upsetting him. I hate it when they suggest that. Why do they need to suggest that? There's no, there's no reason. All it does is cause hassle. It just annoys the players. I think that's why FM's put it in there. To make it harder. Especially for idiots like me who just click really quickly and not really pay much attention to what's being said. Let's get these days done. Finally, had a chance to catch up with Lujo's uh, latest East Five videos. I just find him really entertaining, to be honest. I don't really care what game he plays. I just find I've watched him play uh, Minecraft, I've watched him do Pokemon card and veiling, and veilings. I've watched all of his. With all of his uh, blog videos, I just find him quite interesting. I just find him an interesting, entertaining person. Um, more so than most, I would say Dr. Benji, I find entertaining, but not necessarily for FM content, unless it's the network game stream, because it's like a combined thing that they do. 
So I find entertainment. I'm, I, I, I absolutely love Dr. Benji's um, Jack Space GTA roleplay adventures. Um, I wish he would do more of them. But yeah, it's like I said, we all got different tastes. There might even be people that might actually find me entertaining, eh? Who'd have thought? <laughs> I had a compliment off my mate last uh, on Saturday night. He goes, he goes, do you know what I like about you? And I said, what? He says, you're just you. You're unapologetically you. Um, and that, and they, I, he didn't mean that in like I'm offensive. He just means I'm just a bit, like I'm just a bit all over the place, a bit, a bit chaotic at times. Um, but he just said that he, he just said he appreciated. He said he likes the fact that I'm just me and I don't listen to anybody else's thoughts of me i just i'm just me so yeah i saw i thought that was like a, i saw that as a compliment i was like oh cheers all right come on let's get to the ross county game now i was not happy though on saturday night we were in the pub and then they sell, they sell food in the pub, and I was really hungry. But £11 for a cheeseburger, I was like, are you having a flipping laugh? My, my girlfriend was like, yeah, but I've been here before. The cheeseburgers are really nice. I said, it could be the best cheeseburger in the world. I'm not paying 11 quid for that. In the end, I didn't eat anything, and we got home, and I just went straight to bed with, with a hungry tummy, which is not good. But luckily... The next morning, I was able to have a sausage sandwich, so I was all right, I was happy. All right, we've got some good candidates for the fitness coach. So uh, I'm going to get, these would make a vast improvement on what we've got already. Hence why I've gone for two, he's very good. Uh, hmm. I don't think he's actually his mentals are good though. Actually no. That goalkeeping coach would make a vast improvement. If we look at our coaches now, who we've got at the moment, I mean I know we've got two assistant managers. Um Carol Flavin is okay. Vince Batchum is okay as well, but that goalkeeping coach would be a very good improvement on Vince Bartum. Sorry, Bartram. Bart Bartram. Oh. Yeah, Bartram. Sorry. My vision's not the best at times. And then obviously fitness coaches, we've only got one. But he is very good. So what we could do is get rid of one of the coaches that we've got that's not very good. Maybe but he's all right, actually pretty good. Him, maybe? Yeah, no, I don't know. He's actually pretty decent as well, wasn't he? We have got one space actually, so we should we'll do that then, we'll be alright. Yeah, we'll be alright. Anyway. That mental eighteen. Yeah, on the best. It's annoying that this hasn't disappeared. There we go. So we've got this player coming in in January alone. No idea why. We've got four centre backs already that are relatively good. I think the, the only position I would like to maybe strengthen in January is maybe left back, but I think he's doing all right, Diarte. He's not doing anything spectacular, but he's just doing the job. He's got three assists, he's got a good average rating. So, yeah, in fact, I'm going to sign him onto a new contract. He's worked hard, he deserves it. I'm sorry, I'm going too far ahead and I've just missed that. All right, I'll go away. Um, all right, so here's our lineup we've got Ruse in goal, Davos right back, Welsh and Warner in defence with Diarty on the left, all the Fleck is usually midfield, Ince is right winger, uh, Maldini is attacking midfielder, Muscle on the left, and Hoyden up front. See how we get on. I'm, a, I'm annoyed that Ray Rover is on the game, doesn't wear the pink shirt I'm wearing uh, often. 
was hoping they'd wear a bit more after that lovely first goal. Boyman back on the goal scoring uh on the goal scoring run. He had two games, I think, that he didn't score. And it's nice to see him get his confidence back. We're gonna destroy this team as well, but looks at we are playing very well lately. Oh, I just said that. Curse of the commentator, there you go. Alright, Fleck. Maldini. Ah, Thomas Ince. Seventh goal of the season. He's he's in an amazing form. Him and the Admiral are doing very well. A little build up play here. I'm going to praise the players. Oh, I've done that too early. They're going to score here, aren't they? Oh, good save. Good save. Offside, anyway. Yeah. Currently second. How many games? Celtic's still got two games, so that's 6.18. So, yeah, so we've still got to, we've just got to keep winning, really. What else we can. If I get third place. In the third season, sorry, the um, our first season in the Scottish Premiership, I'll be really happy with that because I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, any anywhere above that would be absolutely amazing. But realistically, top six, top four is what we're aiming for. Top six at the at the worst, I think. Top four would be very good. That boy, going to go in 14th goal of the season, absolute goal machine. I've really got to try and sign him in January, if possible. I'm hoping he'll come to us eventually. I think we could, um, I think he could end up scoring, like being like the all time goal scorer at the club, maybe. But if anything, he could also get us a really good transfer fee eventually if we sold him. He's one of them, buy for, like, one of them players that you buy to end up selling to make profit. Hopefully, I don't sell, sell him though, because I don't want to sell him. Uh, you always want to keep your best players, but you know, I don't need to sell players actually because the amount of TV money that we get, it, it, it means you don't need to. But obviously, if I get a ridiculously high bid for him, then I'd be stupid to reject it. But we've got to sign him first. I'll see if I can sign him after this game just to see if he'll come. I can't sign him because I haven't got any money and got the wage budget, but maybe the board will sign him for me if I can if I ask them. We'll see. We'll give it a go. Let's get this game done first. 3-0. Right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We've nullified them. They've only had one shot this whole game so far. I said this whole game, it's only been 27 minutes playing. Ball, Ince, beautiful over the top ball, Hoyland, there you go, gets his hat trick, oh this will be disallowed maybe, that's a shame, will it be allowed, no, disallowed, ah. Hoyland then he got his hat trick, seems to get two goals in a game a lot, but he's never seen, he, he very rarely gets a hat trick, let's see if he can get a hat trick in this one though, Oh, he might do. We've got a penalty. Don't know who's the penalty taker. I think it might be Hoyland. See if VAR will agree with us. Yes. Right, it's Hoyland stepping up. He is. Come on. Get your hat-trick. Yes. Get in. Go on, Hoyland. Obviously the better Hoyland. There's three of them. Oh. To have... I'll tell you what, though. To have three... Um, lads that end up playing good quality football. Obviously, Rasmus is the best one out of the three, but to have three lads, like, like I mean, I know he's only playing the Scottish Premiership and Will Hoyland, but um, he will probably go on to play for a better team. And then the other Hoyland, Oscar Hoyland, is a decent player by the looks of it. So, uh, fair play to the Mr. and Mrs. Hoyland for producing three very talented. Football players. 
Sometimes you get like two. Uh, very rare you get three that are all good. The only example, uh, there's like the Wilcott brothers, there was three of them, but not all of them were good. James Wilcott was the best one out of the three. Um, was it James Wilcock, is he now? I can't remember actually. The one that played for Arsenal and then Newcastle, I think it's James Wilcock. But anyway, um, he was decent. He's not had like an amazing career. He's doing all right. Uh, I know he did really well for a bit at Newcastle, and I, kind of, I think he's kind of filtered out a bit now. Um, I can't remember any other like brothers that was three of them that all did really well. Uh, Holland again, 16th goal of the season, four goals now. I'm going to take him off. I'm going to rest him. I'm going to give Paul Joseph, maybe? No, I'm going to put Gucci on. Let's give Holland a rest. He's done well. Right, Dabo. Black? Nah. Yeah, I can't think of any other three brothers. It's very rare in football to get three of them playing professional football at a good level. The Poppers, maybe, but the Poppers, I mean, Paul Popper was the only good one that did well. The other two played professional football, but I wouldn't say they were very high standard. I don't think they played in any top leagues, if I remember. Anyway, if you think of anyone, let me know in the comment section. Is there any, is there any free football players? Any three brothers that did really well in football at the same time, basically. All around the same time. Alright, we've got a few tired legs now. Good, good, good defending there. Oh, we've got time to get them one. Ooh, it's up in the lead. Look at that. Oh, no. Ranger's got a game ahead of us, though. So. Let's just keep winning and then hope for the best. Yeah, 5 0 win. There we go. Excellent. Right. Let's see. Come on, getting on time. Okay. I'll tell you what I'll do. Instead of. Oh, no, actually, I might have to. Right. I haven't got a game now for two weeks, so I'll be back in a minute for the second part of the episode. Right, we're back for the second and final part of this episode, and uh, I don't think much has happened. I have made an offer for Hoyland that they, the club have accepted. He's willing to come to us, but obviously the likelihood is it will get cancelled because I haven't got the money. I'm just kind of hoping and praying the board might just uh, might be able to interact with the board to get them to sign him. But we'll see. I don't think it's going to happen. It's a long shot. Doesn't mean we can't sign him eventually. At least we know that he's willing to come this time. So um, we've had a lot of injuries as well and then in the two weeks that we were on holiday. So um, we've got Ruse in goal. Dabo was right back. Welsh and Warner in defence. Diate is left back. All the flag in midfield. Ince, Maldini, Mosqui, and Hoyland. So, luckily, no injuries to our main starting 11, I'd say. Uh, yeah, we've got Motherwell now. Motherwell away. We did very well against them last game. Hopefully, we can do the same now. Rangers got a game ahead of us, and they two points ahead of us. So, technically, that would be classed as like five points ahead of us. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Like I said, I wasn't expecting to get top four in the league. Um, Celtic, obviously, they've got two games ahead of us as well. Uh, we're technically two points ahead of Celtic at the moment if, you, if Celtic do win both their games. You never know, we might get second place. Hearts, obviously, doing well. They've got a game ahead of us as well. A lot of the big teams are playing in Europe, aren't they? So we've being able to take advantage of that because we haven't got European football yet. That is my aim, is to bring a European trophy to Rafe Rovers. Oh, that's not going to help though. Raul Focolos. Focolos. Not pronounce their name. Law. Yeah, Focolos. Focolos. 
Anyway, right. Can I vote? Come on, let's go. And oh, there we go, I think he's offside. Oh, bit of a mix up there. Musquee. No, lose the ball. Ah, it's all right. That's good though. It's uh, encouraging, I'll say. Boylan looks tired though. Because he's not playing very well. Another well look up look for this game. Oh, there we go, Hoyland. That's a zipper. Ince. Can we get it across there if we can? Oh, nearly caught the keeper off there. He is tired though. I'm hoping he can. Uh, yeah, he seems all right. We'll have to take him off in a bit though. We'll put uh, Uchi on. Offside, surely, maybe, no. Yeah. Offside, that's what I thought. All right, free kick to us, Ince. To the Admiral, Admiral loses it. Ince. Walsh. To the Techers there by Warner. Ball loses the ball, no, no point intended. Walsh, back to ball. Fleck, come on Fleck, see what you can do. There we go. Aldini, uh, offside. Yeah, they're probably going to be offside this one. Oh, no, goal awarded. Good, good, good. That's what we like to hear. All right, let's see if we can uh, push on now and get a win. Mm, not like that, not with touches like that, though, Fly. All right, Motherwell. Good save, Ruse. Good save. Right, all of you need to come off. Uh, where are I? I put Lewis Wall up front. Yeah, I put Lewis Wall up front. I could have put Joseph up front, but I just trust Vaughan more in that position at the moment. Uh, I'd be alright with 1 1. I'd be okay with that. The Admiral's knackered, so we will put on Paul Joseph, we'll make his debut. Ince is tired. We'll put on Enrique. Right, Vaughan with the free kick. Can he, can he make another memorable victory for us in the last few minutes of the game? He lines up the free kick. Pretty good at free kicks, Lewis Vaughan. What's he? What's he for free kick taker? Fifteen. So yeah, he's, he's quite a good goal. Um, quite a good free kick taker. Anyway, um, what nationality? Lewis Vaughan's Scottish, isn't he? Does he ever play for Scotland in this game? Oh, it won't let me. So annoying. Uh, I praise you, Fleck. Right, let me just have a look before I go. We'll end this episode. Because people want to know this is what this is the type of stuff they come here for. It is for data checking. Right, Lewis Vaughan. He is Scottish. He's never played for Scotland. That is criminal. He's never played for Scotland. Absolutely disgusting. Right. On that note, I'll be back with the next episode with a very big game against Rangers. So, yeah, tune in for the next episode. And thank you as always. Have a nice day. Bye.